right, Emily, we just recorded an incredible episode over on the Mary Morant show where we were talking through the grit, the gumption, the grace, and the hard-won confidence it takes to grow boldly and to really come alive again, to really build a life that we love. So everyone watching, make sure you head over to the MaryMorantShow.com. We're going to link that below so you can check out the full episode. But for now, I wanted to ask you a bonus question over here just for our YouTube subscribers. Uh, two questions actually I have for you. The first is, this is a book about making your outsides match your insides. It's about really owning your voice and being bold. And so I was wondering when you were writing the book, what is the thing that felt like the boldest to put words to that, that moment when you're like, oh, are we really going to put this out there? What, what is the <laughs> boldest thing in this book? I allowing my outsides to match my insides or the last couple of years has looked for me like not shying away from conversations that I believe in mm. um, truth that I hold dear and also respecting others differences of opinions. Yeah. Um, when I wrote the book, it was early 2020. And we all know there was a very large election that happened <laughs> in 2020. I think that what I realized in writing growing boldly is that it's so vital for us to be our most authentic selves mm. in every capacity. And so I would say that that was probably the boldest thing was for me to own my beliefs mm -hmm. and the truths that I hold dear, knowing that not everyone will agree with them. Um, but allowing everyone to have a seat at my table was really important for yeah. me. Um, just talking about equality and, and that kind of thing. Mm -hmm. So I would say I was very nervous to dip my toes into any of that because I think it's I think uh, as, as women, sometimes we believe or expected to be or believe a certain way mm. and owning our truths can sometimes just feel so against the grain, but, yeah. um, it feels good to wear my truths proudly. Yeah. Love it. Yeah. And then one of the <laughs> other things is you have a whole section where you are walking women through getting to know the right now you, because by the way, it has probably changed yeah. since the last time you checked in with yourself because we all walked right. through the last 12 months. Mm -hmm. um, and you, one of the questions you ask, ask is, what if you could change one thing about your world right now, what would it be? So I'm going to turn that back on you. What is one thing about your yeah. world you would change right now? Uh, to give hugs. <laughs> <laughs> I, mean, I just want to give hugs again. Yeah. I mean, uh, that's the obvious answer. I'm so ready for all of this to be over. I miss people. I miss friends. Mm -hmm. um, my parents are both fully vaccinated. We're so grateful for that. So we've been able to see them. Um, but yeah, that's the truest of truths for me right now. I just miss, yeah. I just miss people. This whole experience really, I think, so many things were stripped away from us so quickly. Mm -hmm. We didn't even realize just how special the little things are that we yeah. maybe took for granted before all of this. Um, I think I learned a lot last year yeah. um, through COVID and all of that, but mostly how important people are yeah. in person giving yeah. hugs. Yeah. <laughs> well, the new book is out today, everywhere today. This is the day. Yep. Yay. Yay. <laughs> so by the time people are watching this, they can hop on. We'll link it up below. You can hop on Amazon or go to a awesome. local bookshop. Get this book, Growing Boldly, Dare to Build a Life You Love in Your Hands. And right now, while you're thinking about it, while you're over here, make sure you like this episode and then go ahead and subscribe so that you don't miss all of the episodes we're going to be rolling out for you guys over the coming weeks and months and moving forward. Make sure you don't miss any of that. That's what we have for you. Make sure you head over to Instagram and follow Emily at at Emily Lay, L-E-Y, and make sure you get a ton of her in your life because she's amazing. She also has a new podcast you're going to want to check out, The Simplified Podcast. <laughs> so until next time, friends, this is The Mary Marie Show.